Some valuation issues, some valuation issues in our PP&E. Well, some basically there's just points to keep in mind. So a cash discount reduces the purchase price of an asset, right? You get a 10% discount for some reason. Well, that reduces the depreciable base of the asset, reduces, you know, back to our tax example, how much you can deduct for tax purposes. Assets purchased through long-term credit are recorded at the present value of the consideration exchange. So if you buy through long-term credit, like you issue a bond to buy this, well, you're going to have to use present value factors to determine the value of that over time, which is going to be less than uh, the actual purchase price now. And that's a whole uh, thing for bonds, right? If you haven't seen bonds yet, definitely go check out that wonderful section. It's a good one. So the next, the cost of assets acquired in a basket purchase. So maybe you purchased you know, uh, a machine, a piece of land and an equipment, you know, or, you know, a building all at once, right? In a big basket purchase. So what do we do here? We allocate the assets on the basis of the relative fair, fair market values. Uh, and actually this we will see in the fair value measurement chapter. So if you want to see more about this, how you treat a basket purchase, go take a look in our fair value measurement chapter. You know, if you don't do it now, you'll see it later. No worries. If assets are acquired in exchange for stock, the market valuation of the stock is the basis for the valuation, right? So if we sell, uh, if we give up $600,000 of our own stock, well, the basis for the equipment that we got in exchange for the stock is 600,000, right? It's basically as if you sold your own stock for that amount, use that cash to buy it. Nothing crazy. 